Hello there everyone. Due to the fact that today is Valentine's Day and later on I have to go out there and suffer oppression at the hands of a woman, I figured I would share one of my little stories from you. I typically just do this on Twitch for fun, but it's Valentine's Day so maybe I could tell you a story that might make you laugh about my past love lives. So here they are. This was a couple of years ago. I was out on uh, a date with a woman that I had met maybe like a couple of days before and we had went out to eat and we were enjoying ourselves. Well needless to say she was uh, smitten with me and we decided to go back to her place and I thought this is nice it's only been about two or three days and I'm already going back to her place. So we get to her place and we sit down on the couch and we started messing around a bit. She started kissing me, and I was like, oh, this is going to be great. I'm going to get the pussy. Well, needless to say, as I slipped my hand under her skirt and I cusped her breast, and I began to lean in close to kiss her again, I noticed that two hair strands on the top of her head were moving, like the wind was blowing or something. Now, I know you may be wondering, why the hell was I paying attention to that? You know, it's just something to be, it had to happen to catch my eye. And those two hair strands that were moving shifted a little bit uh, to the, on the other side of her head. Like, the, the fuck, you got magic hair or something? Anyway, this all took place all within the course of like three seconds. And then I took a closer look. And those weren't hair strands at all. What that was on the top of her head was a cockroach. A roach on the top of her head and I'm really close like I'm like all almost about to kiss her again and I look out the corner of my eye and I see that roach just staring down at me like you gonna give me a kiss too mr. man and they're like God that is disgusting terrible and of course I warned the woman I tell her I back up and I say hey, hey no there's a roach on top of your head. And she jumps up saying, what? And she pats her head and she sees the roach fall off and hit the floor and scamper about. And she was shocked. Now, obviously she didn't feel the roach on her head. And I'm figuring that's because she had her hair really tightly wrapped down. So, and whatever chemical she used in the glue or whatever patness, she couldn't feel something small on top of her head. So she immediately apologized and she went to the bathroom to take a take a bath and shot. And then when she came back, she was still in the mood for sex. And I couldn't do it. That was one of the few times in my life where I had to turn a woman down. I mean, I went back uh, later on, or maybe like uh, a couple of days ago, and I just couldn't get that fucking roach out of my head. It was like a roadblock. This has never happened before. I have been with women before, and I have been in fucked up situations. There was the girl who had no eyebrows. There was the girl who couldn't drive and you know, fucking ran her car into a pole on the night that she was supposed to come see me. Uh, what else? What? what there, God, there have been so many. There, there has been the uh, the the bisexual ball headed girl. <laughs> <laughs> that that happened recently. Ah, anyway, I don't know if this was funny or not. Funny, I just I just wanted to share a story before on this Valentine's Day about some of the bullshit that I've gone through, and I just happened to remember Cockroach Girl when I tried to kiss her, and I see that nice cockroach up there on the top of her head, totally freaking me out. Anyway, you all have a blessed day, and always be careful about the things you have in your home. You should never know what kind of weird shit you might fall into. I don't know, maybe I share another one of these stories or something, but you all take care of this Valentine's Day.